Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I am back at you again with another DIY project and we are going to be making this puppy right here. This is a clear um, plastic display column that you can use to put balloons in. You could put flowers in and of course you can make several of these and arrange them like you see in all of the special events where they have the different sizes. I only made one, of course. I did not make more than one, but you can make more than one. This is 36 inches tall. You can stack them. You can make one that's 30 inches. You can make one that's probably um, just a little bit smaller than that because we're going to be using 36 inch dowels for this project. But this came out awesome. I know you guys are going to love this. They do sell the clear display columns um, for you to put balloons and flowers and stuff in. I know you guys have seen that before. And I'm going to insert a picture, an inspiration picture now. Okay guys, so as you can see, you can do this for a fraction of what it would cost you to purchase this um, from an online vendor. Okay, you can make your own. All right, so um, we're going to go ahead and get into this project. I know you guys are going to love this, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so here is our plastic from Hobby Lobby. And um, I don't know if I can get all of this in the camera, but here it is. Okay, and it's actually 36 inches long. It is a pretty big piece. Okay, I did not measure the width, but I know for a fact it's 36 inches long, so this is going to work out perfectly. So actually, I just measured this, and this is 24 inches in width, and it's 36 inches in height. So I'm going to show you how you can mark and then cut this. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using a cutting board, and I'm actually going to cut the majority of this on the floor, but just to show you guys how to do it. So I'm using a small cutting board. I'm putting it underneath my plastic. I have my paper guide that shows me exactly the width that I need to cut it at. So I'm going to line that right up. You can leave the plastic on it if you want to. But I'm going to line the paper up. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie. And I'm going to mark exactly where I need to cut. And I'm just going to keep moving my paper and then making sure that I line it up so that I can go all the way down this sheet because this sheet is 36 inches long. And I'm going to go all the way down the sheet measuring it, okay? So once I have marked it, and let me get a close-up. Once I've marked it, and you can see where I marked it, okay, I'm going to pull back out. Then I can get my plastic cutter. And this thing is awesome. You can use a ruler if you want to to keep it straight, but I found that I do better without the ruler. So what you want to do is start taking your um, your plastic cutter, and I'm just going to start from the middle. You don't have to, but you want to make your first deep impression. They call that scoring. Okay, you want to make your first deep impression. Then you want to go back and get right back in that same section. Get right back in that groove and make a second score. A third score. Keep applying pressure. This is my fourth score. 
this is my fifth score and now i can feel that it it is going to start giving in a little bit okay this is my fifth score and i'm trying to make sure that i apply plenty of pressure okay and look bang it's already cut it's coming apart okay that's just how easy it is to cut this plastic all right okay so super easy you can see right there that it has already cut it's already separated okay so that's how you do it guys very very simple Okay, guys, so I have all four pieces of my column cut out. This is one part, part number two, part number three, and part number four. I have all four pieces cut out, and this is how long it is. It's 36 inches long, so I'm ready to rock and roll now. I've got all my parts. I'm ready to go. Okay guys, so this is what we are going to need for our column. So as you can see, I have my four wooden dowels and the size is right there, 12 by 36. So I have all four of my dowels. We're not gonna cut these dowels down. And then I also have my wooden plaques. One plaque, um, I already had a friend of mine that works on the job cut this out for me. But this wooden plaque right here, this is from Plaid. And you can get this from Walmart. And let me see, what is the size? It's 10 by 10 by 7.5 inches. So you will need two of these. I'm not quite sure how much they cost. I can't remember. But this is one. And then you want to take the second one and have a square coat hole cut out and make sure that your border is at least a half an inch since the dowel is a half an inch it should be a half an inch I don't think he cut mine exactly like that but it will still work okay so um, if you can get someone to cut this for you or if you can find a tool that you can use to cut a square out where you're leaving a half an inch all the way around and of course this is our plastic pieces that we have cut down okay from Hobby Lobby they're $4.99 a sheet and we already cut them down with our plastic tool here you can get that off of Amazon for um, $9 so now we're gonna move on to the assembly process. All right, guys, so now we are going to take our hot glue gun and I'm gonna take one of these dowels and um, this is gonna be pretty messy. I'm gonna take this plastic sheet and I'm just gonna put it underneath here cause it's gonna get kind of messy. So I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna get right in the corner here and then I'm going to flush my dowel right up against it. And I'm going to hold it in place probably for about, I'm going to say maybe five minutes.
all right guys so um this is what it looks like on the inside hopefully you guys can see that turn it this way so you can see where I added the glue so you can be in focus and so I added the glue all around the dowel all right guys so I have finished adding the glue to our stand okay and uh, you don't want to add the top just yet. We're not going to add the top yet because we have to put in our panels. We have to put our panels in. So um, I put a generous amount of glue. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I put plenty of glue. So that's what you want to do. You want to put enough glue to secure this thing. Make sure you use arrow hot glue. Um, if you do not use arrow hot glue, I cannot responsible, be responsible for the way this turns out, okay? So I told you to use arrow hot glue. You need to use professional hot glue. Okay, so I'm going to take this part, the top part, and I'm also going to take my stand, and I'm going to take the top portion of this, and I'm going to go outside, and I'm going to apply some silver metallic spray paint to it. okay guys we are back so our stand is fully painted so i have my uh silver paint treatment on it that is completed and um this is also painted okay i think i did a halfway decent job on it this permanent adhesive okay so i've used this in previous projects this is fast edge they use this to put furniture together so i'm going to be using this to apply the plastic panels inside of our uh, stand okay guys so I have one panel I'm just going to test this to make sure that I can actually put it in in here let's see here it's gonna go okay okay that looks good I'm going to take my tape And I'm going to apply it uh, inside the column. It's going to go all the way down. Okay, so I have measured my tape. And of course, you would be cutting it 36 inches in length. I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. Okay guys, so if you can see, I have added my tape and I basically cut it in strips so that it would be easier to handle. So cutting the uh, fast tape, so cutting the tape in half uh, makes it perfect to uh, put right on the side of the dowel. So as you can see, this is the tape that I have there, okay. This is going to be a really difficult video to film because this thing is 36 inches and it's hard for me to get all of this in camera view. So that's it. Alright guys, so let's take a look at where you need to apply the tape. So you do need to apply the tape uh, on the outside of your stand. So you do need to apply the tape on the outside, okay? And you also need to apply the tape on a section on the inside. So this is very tricky, guys. So you need to apply the tape on the outside because two of the panels are going to sit on the outside and two of the panels are going to sit on the inside, okay? So you need to make sure that you have your tape two sections on the inside. So this is the inside here and this is the inside here. And then you need to make sure that you have the tape on the outside on one side and the outside on the other side, okay? And I'm going to try to put a diagram um, into the video so you have an idea of where you're supposed to apply the tape. Because like I said, it's really hard for me to shoot this video because I just, um, I just don't have enough 
space on my camera to show it because it's so tall okay um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use these Cricut uh, tweezers just to pull the backing off of the tape because this fast cap tape is double sided and this allows me to kind of sort of like get a grip so I can start pulling the tape off okay so I pulled the tape off of one side and now I'm getting ready to apply one of the panels okay guys so I got two of the panels on already I have two of the back panels on so uh, it does get a little bit challenging with this tape you have to definitely absolutely take your time the plastic is going to automatically want to attach itself to the tape so you really 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 have to take your time with this guys okay all right, so I've got two done. There's one panel right there, and then I'm turning it around, and here's the other panel. So they're on there, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the tape on the inside, and I'm gonna put the inside panels on here. Okay, guys, so I have three of the panels on here, and um, what I did was I went ahead and I put the bottom part on, because um, I need to go ahead and start gluing this stuff before I put this last panel on here. And um, I think what should have happened was that the outside panel, one of the outside panels should be the last one to go on here. So I may have to end up taking off the outside panel and reapplying it because I did not do this right. So the last panel to go on should be an outside panel, not an inner panel, okay? So I need to correct this and then um, I'm going to use my hot glue and hot glue the bottom part of the um, stand together. Okay guys, so now I'm going to add the last panel. I have already used my hot glue and hot glue the dowels on the inside. So now I'm going to put this panel on the outside and I'm going to leave the measurements for these panels the size that they're supposed to be okay guys so here is our completed project so this came out awesome and um i'm just gonna pan down so you guys can see how this came out and of course i did not um i didn't get the part where i actually take the bottom part to it um or rather the top that's the top okay but i didn't get a chance to show uh, myself gluing the other part of the wooden plaque to it but I, I'm sure you guys can figure it out I mean it's pretty simple so this is the top as you can see so this came out awesome um, I blew up a couple of balloons I could not find my balloon buddy so I just did the best I could by blowing it up myself and I almost passed out guys <laughs> trying to blow them balloons up <laughs> at almost 60 years old i mean come on all right so i'm gonna go ahead and just take these balloons okay guys so i blew up some balloons and um i could not find my balloon buddy so now i'm gonna go ahead and add the balloons uh into our display column And voila, there we have it. So now guys, I'm gonna take one of these chopping mats that I got from the Dollar Tree. And um, I've already cut this down to size to cover up the opening. So I'm just gonna put this right there on top of the opening. Let me get a close up for you guys. I'm gonna put it right here on top of the opening. And then I'm gonna take some masking tape and just tape this down. I'm using white masking tape, guys. 
Okay, guys, that's it. So this is another successful project. We are completely done with this. I think this came out awesome. I was not able to do a demo before I actually did this video. So I did all of this on the fly. So hopefully you'll be able to get through this tutorial and figure it out. But once you do, it this will be easy to duplicate. Once you get the hang of one of them, you'll be able to make several more. You can make them in different sizes. It is sturdy. You can put heavy items on top of them. And um, I think you will really love this. This will be an asset to your special events business. Uh, if you try to buy this, I believe there's an online vendor who sells these and they are, it's $175 for three of these. You can make three of these for way less than $175. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.